Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 8. This video we're going to be taking a look at setting up our digital inputs. Digital inputs are including things like wheel speed sensors, vehicle speed sensors, flex fuel sensor, or even a momentary or toggle switch that we could use to turn something on or off in our programming language within our Mtune software. We're going to be taking a look at some common examples here, how to go and configure them and how to test them to make sure they're going to be right so that we know when we're using them for a specific feature or function they're going to be working as intended. Now we're going to have a lot to cover so let's jump into this video so we can get started taking a look at our digital inputs. Okay so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our digital inputs using our Max ECU in conjunction with our Mtune software. Digital inputs are things like a momentary button or a toggle switch to turn something on or off in our programming logic or in our control. We also find that we have a flex wheel sensor, that's another common uh, digital input, and then lastly a wheel speed sensor or a vehicle speed sensor. All of these are more common ways we're going to be interfacing and programming our digital inputs. Let's go in here and take a look at how to set up our very first example here. This is going to be either a momentary button or a basic on-off toggle switch. This is the most basic, simplistic way that we can deal with a digital input. We're going to go here into our navigation pane and go down here under inputs. And then we're going to move down here under digital inputs. And here we find that we have four available digital inputs. Now in this particular box, that's how many I have. Your box that you're working with may have less digital inputs available here. So I have a Max Pro ECU. Now in this case, I have wired in my race vehicle that I'm sitting in right now. I've wired in my toggle switch into my DIN5 or my digital input 5. I have my other inputs here tied to other functionalities as we're going to be exploring here in a bit. So in this case, if we go on to and click on to our DIN5 or digital input 5 option, we're going to find that we have some uh, parameters that we have to program so it recognizes the switch and everything is going to be programmed properly. Now we find that we have a function which is going to be assigning the function for the actual switch within our control within the Max ECU programming. We'll talk about that. The description is going to allow us to actually assign a name to this particular digital input. We have an activation level, a pull-up resistor, and then an input type. Let's first talk about here, under our function, what we have for options. Now when we're dealing with a momentary or a toggle switch, we can use this for a ton of different features. If we're looking here at something like an AC clutch disable, if we hit our switch, it'll turn off or bypass our air conditioning. We also have an AC request idle up. That'll turn up or idle when the AC is on, when we actually have the button uh, depressed or uh, we turn the toggle switch on. Going down here a bit further, we can use it for a boost control turning on or off enable button. We also have a boost switch target. That's going to allow us to do a high-low type of boost control with a basic switch. Going down here a little bit further, we're going to find we have cruise control that we can work with that switch that we're wiring in. Uh, going down here a little bit further, we have disabled traction control. We can do an override with the switch. So if we can see that there's a lot of programming functionality in here. Um, going down here a little bit further, let's look at some more common examples here. We are going to find that we have a timer sequence we can start or stop with a button or a toggle switch. Going down a bit further here, uh, we are going to find uh, if there's anything else very common here. Those are probably more of the common ones that we would work with. Just for demonstration purposes right now, what I'm going to do here is just select one of these basic parameters that we might want to work with the switch. Let's assume we're using the switch here for boost control enable. Pretty basic. And when I select my function as my boost control enable here, we can find that the latch condition appears. This is going to allow us to program and turn essentially a toggle switch or a momentary switch into doing exactly what we want within the programming routine here. What this is going to mean in my case, I have a momentary button wired into my car. The momentary button is going to be if I press the button down, it'll activate the input or the pin that I've wired it to, which will be my digital five. When I let the button go, it's going to not activate that digital input. Now in this case, that could be useful for something like a, uh, a, a uh, rolling anti-lag type function. Uh, when we're dealing with boost control, it's not going to be favorable. Ideally, in this situation, I would have to wire in a toggle switch, where if the switch is off, the, the circuit is off. If I turn the switch on, it stays on until I turn the switch off. Now, the nice thing about the uh, programming with the Max ECU, we have a lot of flexibility here, and that's what this latching sequence is going to allow me to do. If I choose none, active while the input is active, anytime I push the button, 
it'll go in and turn the boost control on. And anytime I let go of the button, it's going to turn the boost control off. That's not ideal for this situation for a momentary button. So if I had a toggle switch, this would be the option that I would choose. If my switch was simply off or on, but not a momentary, you would use none active while input is active. Now in the case here of my momentary button switch, uh, we find that we have some options here, push on or push off. When I push the button on, it'll latch it on and it'll stay on until I push the button off. This will simulate having a basic on-off toggle switch with a momentary button. This is ideal in my situation so I can activate and make the button do what I'd like it to do without replacing the entire momentary button with a toggle switch. We also have here push on to turn on and a long push off to turn off. That's going to be desirable uh, in a situation. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.